Good morning. It's Tuesday, August 23rd, 2022. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, Between Pinnacle and Pit, Part 4, and our scripture is Hebrews chapter 12. No discipline is enjoyable while it's happening. It's painful. But afterward, there will be a peaceful harvest of right living for those who are trained in this way. So take a new grip with your tired hands and strengthen your weak knees. Mark out a straight path for your feet so that those who are weak and lame will not fall but become strong. We are continuing with our investigation of the gap between the pinnacle of genuine faith and the pit of unbelief. Chastisement, or when God disciplines, is what God does to make us fit for use. That's the whole purpose of training, to become useful for God's kingdom. The sermon upon which this series of devotions is based includes an illustration of God's purpose to take our brokenness and use it for His glory, and it puts into perspective those difficult times of testing and training that we all experience. It's based on what Jesus said in John chapter 15. He cuts off every branch of mine that doesn't produce fruit, and he prunes the branches that do bear fruit so they will produce even more. Here's what I wrote in the sermon. A week or so ago, this was 1978, the muffler fell off my car. It's that big mercury, so you know it's a long dude and it's heavy. I got under the car trying to put that muffler back on for what seemed like an hour and a half. I was getting weary. I was on my back with arms in the air lifting that muffler for an hour and a half, but I just couldn't get it right. The pipe that I was using to get the muffler back together again was too long for the space and I just couldn't force it in there. After trying so many times, I was absolutely exhausted. The point here is that I finally gave in. I gave up. I prayed at that moment out loud under the car, Lord, I give up. I can't get it done. You've got to do it. You know me. I don't have anything left. I waited a few minutes for the Lord's answer, and I decided to try again. Well, I pushed it, and the whole thing fell apart. (laughs) Now, A few years prior, the old Russell would have gotten angry and looked up and said, Hey, why? What have you got against me? But not this time. I just said, Okay, looks like you have some other plan here. I crawled out from underneath the car. I was picking up stuff to put in the trunk and walk back home. But as I got back to the back of the car, I noticed that the muffler clamp was still attached to the back end of the car. I saw how impossible it would be to force that pipe and the muffler back together again. When I waited on the Lord, I saw the solution to the problem that was actually there all the time. I backed off, I gave it up, I listened, and the Lord showed me the right way. I had taken the wrong approach. I was doing it my way. I waited until things came unglued before I prayed and trusted. That is the way of instruction. A lot of times, you don't see the Lord's instruction until retrospect. That time when you stop doing things your way, you look back, and it dawns on you. Oh, yeah. (laughs) Imagine your life, for instance, as a sweater being knitted. God is the one who's doing the knitting, and you decide to take the needles. What do you do? You make a mistake, don't we always? But God's not going to continue where you left off. He's going to take you back. He's going to take you back so he can take out the error, so he can unravel what you did that was wrong. And that is called purging. For you today, the sweater or muffler in your life may be different than mine, but the principle holds. We can continue struggling with doing it our way, or we can learn early in the process to give in and give up to God's teaching. Now tomorrow, we're going to have the unveiling of God's glory in this whole process. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.